Hey, welcome back to All Things ETH. My name is Aaron and this is a live update. Um, we have some serious price movement going on on the ETH charts and uh, you might ask why and I believe it's because XRP was just ruled on and they, uh, the court said it's not a security. So if XRP, what, who, who had a very specific IDO or a, um, a token launch that was paid by investors with the, uh, the, um, the expectation of uh, gains in the XRP uh, uh, pricing, then that means that ETH would likely uh, you know, be, be concluded as not a security as well. And that is something we've been waiting um, to hear for some time. And uh, so XRP, not a security, uh, brought to you by uh, the courts of the United States. And uh, we are stoked. Um, let's jump into the charts right now because we have just gotten a serious bounce in the charts on the ETH scale here. Let's, let's read this out here. What do we got? We have a... 4% jump as of the uh, last four hour candle here. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this continues to move, especially if um, when, when reporting starts on this. Um, I did a Google search just before the start of the, uh, the, this cast. I'm just gonna put it in this, the same one, XRP uh, ruling and didn't find anything uh, brand, brand new yet. So I don't even know if this um, is fully out in the the news yet. <clears throat> the earliest I could find is seven hours ago, and it didn't really have anything new as of uh, today. So I'm guessing this is being reported uh, via you know somewhere on Twitter. So let's go to Twitter because Twitter is where you find the news, right? <laughs> Before it's in uh, the hands of the media because the people talk about things faster than the news does and so I'm gonna check out here because I think we'll find something here let's search XRP Wow my computer's moving really slow I'm sorry about that guys discard I'll probably publish this as an edited content later, so um, if you don't want to deal with the slowness of what's going on here, um, feel free to come back later. I'll, I'll edit this and, and post it, but um, XRP, see if we get anything. Justin, rip, roll XRP source 30%. 30% for XRP holders. Congratulations, you guys. Um, those of you who have been holding, I know a couple personal friends, I know plenty of crypto acquaintances and friends that have um, also, uh, you know, are, have been longtime XRP holders and not able to, uh, to get out of it, obviously. Um, Ripple case, this is 27 minutes ago, Adam Cochran, uh, this guy's on top of it all the time, so follow him for this sort of news, guys. Uh, Ripple case. Here is the good and the bad, but mostly very good for all alts and a surprisingly big win for XRP. First judge did decide institu uh, institutional sales fundraising uh, was securities. Um, therefore, having considered the economic reality and totality of circumstances surrounding the institutional sales, the court concludes that Ripple's institutional sales of XRP con uh, constituted the unregistered offer and sale of investment contracts in violation of Section 5 of the Securities Act. However, however, but then the that the programmatic sale on exchanges didn't meet third prong of how we test. So sales to users via exchanges was fine as long as it was uh, through order book and not ICO or IEO launchpad like um like uh, like they were in the um, IPO, right? So uh, bounties, investments, and other using uh, XRP grants, using XRP, and transfers to executives in XRP not considered securities. Uh, very interesting there. Um, overall, huge win. XRP is one of the most centralized foundations with a key figurehead 
who had standard sales via exchanges and formal distribution programs. If those aren't securities, nearly nothing sold via exchanges is. This is why, if we go over to uh, TradingView right now, this is gonna be huge, guys. Absolutely humongous um, for alts in particular. Obviously, Bitcoin hasn't been ruled a security by anyone. Um, Ethereum was on the fence, obviously, with uh, Gary Gensler refusing, absolutely flat out refusing, to uh, to rule on it. But uh, just seeing this nice wave of whale money flow into Ethereum, and then we were just bouncing off of the the trend exhaustion on uh, um, this is a metric by um, <clears throat> Trade Confident that I purchased. Um, last year and it's been pretty great for me trading wise but i'm not much of a trader to be honest so uh do what you will with those but um man this is great news i think i think the market's going to be pretty green today because of this and massively green for like lido is up almost seven percent op is up eight percent um let's see what else do we have it's just major major alts you know um Gosh, even AXS up seven percent. That's an interesting one. Although it's not interesting because it is it is kind of one of those similar. Um, I think there was an IDO on AXS originally too, so it would have been affected pretty pretty well by uh, by this decision. Um, in fact, it was ruled, or not ruled, but but mentioned in the documents to Coinbase as a part of. The uh, Gary Gensler's letter um, to to Coinbase in their in their uh, um, in the the lawsuit that they brought to Coinbase. So so that's a huge huge win for that as well. So all of those uh, those assets that were specifically mentioned in the uh, the letter to Coinbase from the SEC stating which um, <laughs> which they thought were securities. Um, are obviously being uh, possibly overturned um, in in the in the courts today. So, a uh, big win for crypto, big win for alts in particular. Um, guys, we've been watching uh, Bitcoin dominance go higher and higher lately, and I think it's because of this uncertainty um, with uh, regarding uh, the SEC and and their uh, their involvement lately. But also, um, oh, Matic up ten percent. Matic was on that list as well, guys. Um, Matic, uh, AXS, uh, probably probably BNB. I don't know. Um, you know things like yeah, Arbitrum uh, tokens up five percent already. OP, yeah, we're just we're flying away. A, uh, Avax up seven percent. I think that might have been mentioned as well, specifically mentioned. So. Um, yeah, great day for crypto, great day for alts, uh, and especially Ethereum. So we're up at 1950. Uh, if we can break, you know, 2000, man, we're gonna be, we're gonna be screaming up here. But uh, this is just initial. Um, I don't think, still, I don't think there's any news yet. Let's see if there's any actual news besides the uh, Twitter. Um, but XRP ruling. Anything new? Top stories seven hours ago is still the newest. Gosh, thanks. Thank God for Twitter, huh? <laughs> Getting some actual news from people who care. Uh, you know, I can't say unbiased because you know those who are reporting are are certainly biased. But uh, Cryptos R Us analysis got a shout out to uh, to George and. Uh, team there, Josh, uh, who runs the Cryptos R Us analysis page. Uh, shout out to you, man, for uh, reporting on this. In fact, this is where I got the information. Originally, I was I was speaking with the team over there as I do some content for Cryptos R Us on the weekly basis. Um, go check those out if you if you if you follow me on this channel. I I would really appreciate if you uh, if you you watch some of those clips. They're in the clips channel now for uh, Crypto Zero Us, the, uh, the DeFi weekly content that I do there. But um, gosh, what would we do without Twitter? Um, it's where the alpha is, guys. Um, also, Telegram, obviously. Uh, 
Shout out to some of my friends there who uh, notified me <laughs> of what ETH was doing after XRP got ruled not a security. So, um, yeah. You guys have any questions? Let's get into uh, the chat. Let's see if we have any questions here, guys. I haven't even started over here. I should have started here first. Actually, I'm going to do this on my phone so that I can not destroy the stream here. Turn this down. Make sure it's not going anywhere. Anybody in the chat have any questions about the status? I'd love to know. Um, and if I publish this later, feel free to ask questions in the comments. I would love to answer uh, what I can. And because I do have access to the Crypto's RS team, um, there is uh, an extra layer of, uh, of knowledge. A bunch of other guys who are, um, you know, I have access to that are even more informed in the TradFi space, in the Bitcoin space, and, and these guys watch the news all the time, all the time, all the time. And, uh, and so if you have any questions, I'd be happy to relay them if I can't answer them myself. And uh, so with that, uh, I'm just going to finish this out. I, I think it was just fun to get on and, and report this as soon as possible. I'm going to throw out the headline and, uh, and see who uh, catches this. But uh, everybody watching, uh, congratulations if you're an altcoin holder today, especially those who hold XRP, Ethereum, and all those that were, uh, you know, um, Matic, AXS, um, and all these tokens that were uh, initially reported to be securities by the SEC. The SEC will have to eat it <laughs> in this in this regard. So uh, God bless all of you and, uh, and your investments. And uh, be careful out there. There's a lot of scams going on. But uh, again, thank God for Twitter. Um, Elon for buying Twitter. And to all of you out there who are reporting... Um, Adam Cochran, if, if you ever watch this, I highly doubt, but if you watch this, thank you so much for reporting on this, um, huge news, and uh, thank you so much for watching, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content just like this, and uh, we'll see you later.